Morning everyone, Gary Shanley, Cabin Fever Auctions. We're here in Baltimore today to do uh, an extraction of some great antique cars. There's six cars in this collection coming out of Baltimore today uh, to be sold in an upcoming sale. So uh, keep an eye on the video and let's get started and get these cars loaded. Might even have a tube in it. No. No, it's radial. Yeah, we'll see if the sidewall holds up. <laughs> Looks like it's going up. Might get lucky. It's that magical time between enough air and the sidewall starts blowing out. That window roll down. So his dad helped him talk to his dad. Dad, did you look at the thing? It's really his dad's name. So okay. He got it from his dad. Okay. And um, he got in '66, and we got married in '66, and we took it to Watkins. He wanted to go to Watkins for. Where are you gonna go for honeymoon? I don't care. They so had that Watkins plan. I said, fine. <laughs> he went to Watkins plan. Okay. So he was in like racing. And then he took. Uh, they showed it for a while. Is that? Uh, he, it's been, that, yeah. Different little Corvette shows, and we went to. Uh, three Corvette. Um, yeah, four Corvette club fit meetings, big meetings. Okay. One in Florida and one in um, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. And then one was here, <laughs> and he showed it and he raced it. So I, I saw it doesn't have a lot of miles on it, so he didn't. No. He didn't drive it. That's much. original. Miles. So he didn't drive it very much. No, it was a Sunday car or like when we would go on vacation or something. Oh, uh, neat. And when did you guys stop driving it? Would you say roughly? About 20 years or so. About 20 years ago. Okay. Brand new GM exhaust on it. I thought something looked clean under there. So the Mustang behind it, what's the story on the Mustang? Oh, that was a good place. My, I just got it. They got it for me. I thought I took to work. That was my work car. So that was your everyday car, was my that? My car. Everyday yeah. Car, yeah. Oh, man. My 69 Mustang. A baby. Oh, that's cool. So wh how long ago was the last time you drove that, you think? 94. 94? Okay. That looks like that was in good shape. Is that pretty much where it sat? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Almost over. There you go.
Yep, pretty you're good. Sure, we're pretty sure it's a 40. Okay, it is a 40, okay. He has uh, paperwork for a 40 and all that kind of stuff, so. And uh, the, 40, the 40 brochure shows the banjo, the banjo steering, steering okay. as a deluxe option. Ah, see, I never saw a 40 with that. That's cool. Yeah. Learning every day. Does it have a locking gas cap on it? Yes. Uh-huh. Might have the right keys here. Yeah. They fit in. Good sign. Almost, but almost don't cut it. <laughs> Surprisingly, the taillights, these Studebaker taillights are, this style are all, always broken and yeah. hard to believe that both of these, if you guys can see well, here. I think that just shows that it's was it? in, a, in a fairly lengthy repose. Yeah. Now, was that the backup light? Do you think? I don't know. All the ones I've seen aren't on Studebakers anymore, usually on customs and hot rods and stuff. And Sledge. That's a vintage cement block, though. Yes. Yes. Oh, we. Oh. Well. Look out, Dave. Go ahead. Whack. Watch out. Could get ugly. The swing. The swings like that, I'm not too worried about the cement block. No, I think that's break, is it? <laughs> that's a good cement block. That was made back in the 20s. So I said it's vintage. Yeah. It must have some serious roots around it. I think it does. Now yeah, we can hook the chain around it and pull yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I need a good viral video, bro, man. Cinder block going right. through the back window. Right. There you go. Too hard. He's getting it. He's doing a better job with a hay fork than you did with a sledgehammer. What's going on here? That's no hay fork. It'll slide out. That's a manure fork. Oh, manure fork. Yeah, all right. That's a spading fork. Yep. Here, you, you pry and I'll pull it. That's great. I'm not jacking up on it. There you go. It's a nice size beach mask. Vintage as well. Hey! Good job, Mike. I don't care what they say. Don't <laughs> Better to delete that. that sledgehammer part. <laughs> uh, I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, don't listen to that. No delete button. We have to we talk to Jared and Gary about that. That might. Uh, <laughs> That'll be part of your annual review. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to put it on your dating website. No. I Clearing the building. Right. Hold on. This is my kind of work. Yeah, it's pretty cool when you don't actually buy the stuff, so you don't have to do as much of the work. <laughs> Usually it's me buying junk like this. Yep. Try that, Mike. I got it wrapped on this end of the, of the hitch. Now the uh, the Studebaker back there. What's the? That was his grandfather's. 
No kidding. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was Grandpa's car. Yeah, no, his grandpa. I gave uh, Gary the paper. I actually found the bill of sale for that the other day. No kidding. It's like five hundred some dollars. Back in the, he had a Chevy, and and it was nineteen forty. And he said to his his wife. Um, a war is coming. We're going to have a war. That he thought. He said, "I think I better get a new car." Oh. So he said to the guy at the dealership, "If you can get it in the garage, because he lives on Clover Street in the city, I'll buy it." The guy got it in the garage, <laughs> so he bought it. No kidding. So brought it new in 1940. Yeah. So he did know. He knew what was coming. He thought know. a war was coming. Yeah. He thought, "I think I need a new car for war is coming." Hemorrhaging too. Are they? Yeah. Are they the ones Oh yeah, I just smashed my face. Mike, just tow it right up onto the trailer. <laughs> just keep going. See what's left when you get back to Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what, what do you want to plan? Steering wheel will be left at that. Does anything roll? I need the steering wheel. Or is it just dragging? It's just it's dragging. dragging. Yeah. So I guess this goes on the trailer with the winch. We'll put a couple winches oh. on it. doing something there, Jared. I mean, right. It definitely is. I think it actually helped. Wow. Oh, then no doubt it did. That was Man, bad. you ate your Wheaties this morning. That was one strong. So when did he, in, when did? He got that and uh, his grandfather died and shortly after we were married. Okay. 67, 68. Okay. And then he had that and he worked on it, worked on it, and finally he was trying to take it apart to get it fixed. Okay. So that's been sitting there for quite a long time. Okay. Wow. So he had gathered some parts over the years at, yeah. at different parts he had there? So he would go up to Hershey and Carlisle with his little hat on and his little list of parts I needed. In fact, in the one box I found a bunch of little parts, just had little plastic parts he needed. I found <laughs> them the other day and put them in another thing and they're in the box. Oh, the good. Baker parts. Okay, good, good. One you need, Mike. Uh, That's the trailer. It is. We're about it. Yeah. Uh, probably not quite. Okay. Now the Model A here. How long ago did you get that? Uh, I, I'm trying. We had we had that a long time. Really? For like, like 30 years or more. Because he went and saw it, and the kid had it. Young kid had it for sale. No kidding. And we looked at it, and I looked at him. I said, "Do you want it?" And he looked at me. I said, "Do you want it?" He said, well, I said, fine. I went to the bank, got the money out, took down, and we bought it. Wow. So it looks like it was somebody, is it original or somebody had restored it a long time ago? It, that's the way we got it. No so kidding. Whether it was restored or not, I don't know. I mean, yeah. And we would take that out on Sundays every once in a while. Or okay. The antique daughter club here would have a, a meet like at Utilwood Plaza, which is now not Utilwood Plaza anymore. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Are you on it that you're... No. Mm. That's how you know it's a Ford. Yeah. It's dripping. Yeah. All right, so this car, uh, we got all the cars out, and uh, now we got to just pull some parts out. There's obviously parts for all the different cars in here, so we're going to pull all these parts out. Yeah, there's some parts out here as well that they found in the basement. Right. Model A, Model T, Corvette parts, everything mixed in. So. As always, there we go. Model T steering wheel. Yeah, Tom. Chevrolet Sports Department. That's neat. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Pretty, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, it's stapled up there. Looks like it, it looks is. Looks like it is too. Yeah. Are these marked? Should I see if it's loose? I thought they're the Corvette. Yeah, I didn't know if they were. Oh, right here. Yeah, it might be a smart accessory. Thing. Just goes with that. Hmm. All kinds of stuff. I'm sure, there's stuff hidden behind stuff. So I saw, I spotted this straight away. There's another set of quarter valve covers here. Up in the top. Staggered bolt pattern. There we go. He bought them for fifteen dollars for the pair at a swap meet somewhere. Heck of a deal. Set of NOS. Looks like. 
I know, they got box. stickers on them. Okay. Oh, a lot of boxes are here. Maybe he put new ones on something. Maybe that other, his other Corvette. Yeah, these are probably takeoffs. Yep. There you go, 327 a couple Turbo blocks. Fire. Originals that were taken off, maybe. Helmet. Here's the other one. I think they are new. Look, here's, the, right. bag. here's the bag with the hardware. Maybe they are. 327 valve covers. Cool. And a set of Corvette. Staggered. Yeah. Tools. Yeah, we see. They're either nudie magazines or they're hot rod magazines. I think both. Oh, both. That's where the good stuff is. Even better. Can't do that on YouTube. Oh, oh early car crafts. Man. And it's nice. It is nice. Studebaker hood? Steering wheel hood, Ooh. taillights. Soup up? Yep, all right. Soup up, custom craft, custom car. Oh, those man. are good. Yeah, those yeah. are good. I know a guy that's got nothing a... good in this cabinet. Nothing just... Yeah. Yeah. We'll look in that later. <laughs> Matt's already salivating. Get my list out. Which ones do I need? That's the Hell Drivers Club. Yeah. Sure. Man. We'll put these in our van. <laughs> That's cool. Corvette. Cool Where'd you find Ted? 61 later. What is it? Actually, let me get it. Oh, that's a gear shift knob, I guess. Ooh, Ooh that's neat. Yeah. There you go. You see the box? Yep. Amco Corvette Cor Cor Corvette four speed 64 and later. Yeah, that's ah. neat. It's for the more delicate people, man. Why do, why do I know that? Because I have to do it every couple oh. of weeks. Oh, we found the Playboys. Don't tell oh, mom. Man. 67 Playboy. Testing world. Mom, is that you? March 22nd, 69, Sebring race. Mom's race. Blue bars. All right, so we got done pulling everything out and the guys at Cabin Fever really kicked butt with dragging all this stuff out. We were able to just document the day, which is gonna be really great. So guys, make sure that you follow Cabin Fever on their Facebook page and also on their website. We'll put the link down below. If you're interested in buying any of these cars, you can bid online. They're gonna be doing online bidding of these cars that so you can have a chance to purchase these cars, which is really, really cool. And then we're also gonna be pulling out in a separate video, we're gonna be pulling out another early Corvette from another property in Maryland. And then at that time, we'll be announcing when the dates for the auction and everything are. But make sure you check out Cabin Fever's site and social media, and then you can keep an eye on it and hopefully bid on one of these cars for yourselves. So, thanks guys for watching. Catch you later.